What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial on how to enable immersive mode on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now, this can actually be done on any NuGet device. What it's gonna allow you to do is remove the nav bar at the very bottom and also the status bar up here at the top. That way you get the full screen real estate in any app that you want it. It's of particular interest on the S8 because of the really nice screen with the small bezels, which is already very immersive. You can make it even more so by enabling this feature. I'm gonna show you guys two methods today which both have some pros and cons that we'll talk about, but you're gonna need developer options and ADB installed in order to use both. To get developer options enabled, go into the About Phone section, scroll down to your build number. You're gonna tap on that build number six times like so. You'll go back into the settings at the very bottom, developer options are enabled. You wanna make sure you have USB debugging turned on, which is right there. You can also find a little bit of a tutorial on how to do this in my previous video for advanced users on the S8. I'll link that one below. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is install ADB tools on your Mac or your PC. I'm using my MacBook Pro here, as you guys can see. You can find a tutorial below linked for PC and Mac. I'll have that if you guys wanna check it out. It's also covered in the other video, which I'm also putting in the description. So once you have USB debugging enabled and you have ADB tools, let's get started with the very first method. The first method uses an app from the Play Store called Shortcutter Quick Settings. Shortcutter Quick Settings actually is a free app. So if you wanna get it, it's not gonna cost you any money at all. You can donate to the developer if you want. If you go into Shortcutter, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is do setting secure so we can get the immersive mode quick tile. This is gonna let us add a tile up here in the quick settings for immersive mode. So I'll show you guys what happens if you toggle this off and back on. It tells you action required. We need to go into ADB. I will paste this command in the description so you guys can copy and paste it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and confirm that. And now I'm going to connect my Galaxy S8 to my computer, to my MacBook. So again, just copy and paste here from the top. Make sure you have ADB shell first so that you enter shell mode. Paste the command right there. And then if we go back, you'll see in Shortcutter under tile settings, we now have a bunch of the secure tiles. You've got the ADB tile. And then the one we want is actually pretty far down the list here. It's immersive mode right there. Immersive full screen tile. So you go ahead and you can enable that and then that will give you the immersive full screen tile, which I mentioned, I have it right there. So now if you wanna use that, what you can do is anytime you want immersive mode, just tap on that tile. It's gonna give you the option to have it off full immersive mode, which is the nav and status bar gone, just the status bar gone or just the nav bars. So I'll turn on full immersive mode. You can see what it looks like right there. Everything is gone. One thing I will mention about this Certain apps like Hangouts do not play so nicely with this. It's just Android device manager telling me that the file manager is not working with this phone. The Hangouts app does not play so nice with full immersive mode as you guys can probably see. My send icon is gone. So if I type something, I actually have to hit back in order to send the message. So that's certainly a little bit annoying. And so it's for that reason that I wanna show you guys the second possible method. Everything else works great. The really great thing about immersive mode is that you can still use the actual uh, home button. You can hard press the home button even though it doesn't show, it'll still take you home. So you're not losing the home button, you're really just losing the back button. This is perfect for scrolling things like Twitter or anything else that you might want to use where you're just reading a bunch of text. All right, so the next method that I wanna show you guys actually will allow you to exclude an app. So say I don't wanna have Hangouts there in my immersive mode. What I can instead do, instead of using the shortcut or quick settings, is I can take the second ADB command, which I'll also have linked in the description here, and I can actually exclude Hangouts. So I go ahead and take this, hit enter. And now, if we take a look here, you're gonna see, if I go into say Gmail, I've got immersive mode, right? It's working. Now if I go into Hangouts, no immersive mode. You see I've got the nav and status bar there, which means now my keyboard works perfectly within Hangouts. You can exclude any app that you want. The key to this command, which I'll have a written tutorial below, this actually was found on XDA. I'll always cite my sources for you guys. You can take away any app you want by putting a minus sign and then the name of the app right here in the command. So any app that you don't wanna run immersive mode on, you can then exclude it using this command and immersive mode will run on everything else. So I personally like the second setup a little bit better because I do want immersive mode on everything except I do not want immersive mode in Hangouts or other apps where it plays very badly with a keyboard or plays badly with the app's own navigation system, it makes it a little tricky to use. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or any problems getting this running, please drop a comment below. I'll try to help you guys out. Find me at dopetechdaily.com. 
Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus at the links in the description. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content so I can make future videos like this. I appreciate you guys checking out this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.